the client wants that if the user is not logged in, then they want to limit the content um, length up to what they see or be able to read to. If you're logged in as a user, you can see the full content or article. So to do that in WP Fusion, you can use their... Hi, Danica here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the restricting access to content feature of WP Fusion. So to do that in WP Fusion, you can use their functionality, which is restrict content access. So in here, you could set the rule and you could design the restricted content message. Now, as you can see in their short code, they said you can use this provided short code or use the more tag. In this example, we're using the more tag. If you're logged in as a user, you can see the full content or article. But if you're logged out, how it looks is like this one. So it's cut up to here only. And then there's a restricted access message. The way that's set up is under WP Fusion, under general settings, scroll down, default restricted content. In here, I have set uh, Elementor template and in the Elementor templates, I just grabbed that short code. This is the message that I have created. So that's the message that I want to show. And then since the client wants to control the length or up to where to the logout members can read to, so we're going to use the read more tag. So read more tag, it's available in the um, WordPress editor. So if you search for that more, it's this one. And you simply need to insert that to where you want the content to be cut. So as you can see, it's in here. That's why if you're not logged in, you can only read up to this section and the restrict access is showing here now other than using that read more you can also remove that and use this short code by wp fusion so it's gonna look like this and the way that's gonna work is it will cut the content of your post um, up to that character that you set and then after that it will show the restricted access uh, message. So I hope this quick tutorial helps and you've learned about how to use the WP Fusion restriction content uh, functionality. If you have any questions, feel free to comment that down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.